Hello viewers, today I have a smart meter video. This is an Honeywell Elster brand. It's an A3RLSS. Um, has an iTron module on it. Um, I just pulled this one uh, for personal uh, use. I had a lot of them come through. Um, I do like these these here are my favorite style of smart meters. I really like the Honeywell look. Um, have it powered off uh, 240 volts, um, 120 to 240 transformer configuration using the 13.2. So this here can measure KVAR, KVA, and kilowatt hours. Um, these are usually more used on a uh, commercial type settings. Even though my power company does occasionally use these on a uh, uh, class 320 services. And I have a space heater as a load, so it's about uh, 1,000 watts. So 431 kilowatt hours. That's the demand there. The time. Time again. And that is uh, part of the communications. So, better view on the specifications. 120 to 480 volt, uh, 200 amps of course, 3 wires, 60 hertz, form 2S, Has a battery in it. The battery actually lasts a long time. I've had this uh, de-energized for a few months, and it still remembers the time, which is uh, quite remarkable. And those batteries are definitely not cheap. They're about five bucks a piece. You'll be able to see back there. There is an LED flasher indicating two phase. Elster is uh, owned by Honeywell, but they're a German company, so they definitely do have a uh, quality in their products. This here is for the uh, magnetic reset. IR port and the demand reset. Let's put it in alternative mode. And of course the plastic doesn't want to go back in. I'm going to have to use two hands to get that back in. But these here are the only meters that uh, can be reset without a computer. If you do the magnetic reset, um, demand reset, and uh, energize it at the same time, it will reset this meter back to factory specifications, which is a really nice thing. Uh, you know, iTron meters, they need a special module, and it's a uh, computer-based. Uh, these here are 
really nice meters. They're really well built. Um, these are the only meters left that actually use a Bakelite back, like the uh, electromechanical meters, the you know the chalky thick plastic instead of the uh, injection mold plastic. Just a good quality meter, and then catch you in the next one.